such as diamonds, pyrite, amethyst, and quartz. Have you ever wondered how crystals grow? Find out by growing your own salt crystal garden. For this experiment, you will need Epsom salt, some clear glass bowls or jars, hot tap water, small pom poms, and measuring cups. You may also use a spoon. Measure one cup of Epsom salt and place it in the jar. Now measure one cup of hot water into this cup. Now pour it into the bowl. Now mix it thoroughly. Can you see the salt dissolving in the water? It's okay if you see undissolved salt. Now, once it's thoroughly mixed, throw in the pom-poms. So let's try and split it equally. Mix it up good. Once you're done mixing, put it into the refrigerator where it won't be disturbed. Put it there overnight. I will show you the result tomorrow. As you can see, I've put it in the fridge. In the morning, check if the pom-poms grew or something happened to them. It's morning now and I've taken the pom-poms out of the refrigerator. Carefully pour off the excess liquid from the jar to examine the crystals more closely. It's okay to touch the crystals. Just be aware that they are delicate and may crumble. Whoa. So. <laughs> it's not as squishy and fluffy as it was before. <laughs> it's kind of like a crystal. Try to make an observation. How do these pom-poms feel? Yesterday, when I put these pom-poms into the refrigerator, they were so soft. But now when I look at them, it looks like they've grown more hair, but this time it's white. They're kind of rough. Why does this work? More salt dissolves in hot water than in cooler water creating an, an unstable, supersaturated solution. As the solution cools down, the salt molecules come out of the solution and crystallize easily onto any surface they stick to. The pom-pom is in the solution to provide nuclear sites or uneven surfaces on which the crystals can easily grow. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.